welcome back. This is part five of my completed Seaquarium album. And I am really happy with how it turned out. It's finished. And it is one of my favorite projects ever. My husband says that I really shouldn't call it a mini album um, since it's the size of a Bible. And you'll see it's very thick. But I love a chunky book, so... So you can see, this is what I used. I used the Tim Holtz 5x7 tabbed grunge board, grunge book. Um, and it was great to work with. I loved it. And so you can see how, these are not the rings that came with it. I added these rings. These are 2-inch rings, and I actually ultimately changed them to 3-inch rings. Um, because the book was buckling a little bit, and I just needed some more room. But you can see how while the book came with these six tabs and two covers, I added a ton of pages on my own. And so this album holds a ton of photos. So there you can see the shiny embossing on the front and back covers. And it does look like concrete. I was really happy with how it turned out. Okay, so here's where I've incorporated some memorabilia. This is a piece of a map they gave us. And then here um, are my photos. And there's the um, chipboard that I used, the life preserver, for the Flipper Dolphin Show. And those Making Memory Tiny Alphas. And that um, scalloped tab. And there's that sticker that I matted on a scalloped punch out. And then some more of these photo pages with the labels. I was really happy with my um, I really loved my photos, um, which is why I wanted something that would enable me to incorporate a lot of photos. So here I have all my journaling. And then here I have those Cosmo Cricut stickers down there that I doodled um, just to give them a different look. And then here's the next section. I have um, some more chipboard, some more of the tiny alphas, and then that's a label from their journaling spot or tag or label collection. I put those brads through it. And there's room for more journaling on the back. I use those brackets. And then more of the 5 by 7 photo pages, some of which I have embellished with chipboard. That one says beach bum. I thought it was funny because the uh, sea lions are actually smacking them on the bum. So um, just more photos of the sea lion show. And this one, the sea lion has a life preserver, so I added this Cosmo Cricket life preserver border sticker to it because I thought that was really good. The sea lion's actually rescuing someone here who's passed out, and it's, now it's giving them mouth to mouth. I just thought these were funny, fun pictures. So on to the next section, which is all about fish. It was an aquarium that we went to, so this section's all about fish. So I used the fish paper, and I embellished it with the fish ribbon, and there's my squid with his bling bubbles. And then more of those photo pages that um, I embellished. And there's that, that's a giant fish. Look, if you see those are mirror, those windows up there are, are several feet high. So that is a gigantic fish. Um, so big. And I just wanted to draw attention to it, which is what I used the frame for and with the gems. And I also like that it kind of looks like a porthole which just kind of emphasizes the sea theme. And then here's the sharks. Um, we actually saw them getting fed, and so I, I put some notes about that with the label stickers. And here's 
the next section, which I embellished with the little submarine and the whale and the fish and more bling and um, the velvet ribbon, the scalloped velvet ribbon, which I love. And I glued the edges of that. And then just more photo pages. And then here you see how the page that I punched the holes on the wrong side turned out with the ribbon threaded through. And then um, some of these photos have journaling on the back. And remember I mentioned that I did it twice. Here's the other one that I did it with. There's ribbon through that one as well. And just more photo mats. Some have areas for journaling and some don't. And all these pictures were taken with a point and shoot camera. Um, I just was having a good photography day. <laughs> So I was just so happy with all these photos. All right, so here's the next page. And it's all about birds. And it's mostly these photo pages. You know, there's a turtle. He was getting a giant salad while we were there. And there's this iguana that was trying to steal the turtle food. Um, just more pictures with labels. And then here's the last section. There's that sun with the little smiley face. And then that page feels a little plain to me. So I may do something with it later. But those are the green dots that I mentioned coordinating with the swamp water in the previous video. And so again, plenty of room for journaling on the backs of these 5 by 7 photos. And then just gluing these photos back to back on a piece of cardstock gives me plenty of really sturdy photo pages. And some of them I've added labels to as well. And then here's the last page. This is another piece from the map that they gave us. So I incorporated more memorabilia and it's a description of everything we saw. And then I added those black gems to look like bubbles, just like I added the blue gems on previous pages. So there you can see all the tabs together. And that's the album. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.